Badger. Yeah. I don't understand perfume. Okay. It doesn't make any sense. Hello and welcome to the Spiral Dimension. I'm Dr. Von Hoot and this is the Magic Badger. Say hello, Magic Badger. Hello. Okay, today we've got a bunch of comics. We've got a new a parcel which I want to crack open straight away, so give us the big box. Interbarn Toys had a have got a sale running at the moment and I saw some things that I just couldn't say no to. And uh, yeah, very excited. Oh, I've got the hands moving. Let's go. Yes, this was a bargain, this one. Seven pounds. Oh yes. It's Battle Cat. Oh, for seven quid. It's steel. I can't believe it. It's amazing. Look at this, Badger. Yeah, and uh, I'm, I'm taking this bad boy out of the box. I don't care. I'm, I'm going to play with this fella. Oh, yes. Oh. <laughs> Amazing. Can't wait for that. Oh. What was no, that? Don't worry, right? Let's keep moving. Let's keep it moving. Keep it moving. Uh, I wanted this one for ages, but I wanted to wait until it was on sale so I get a really good price. And I did, because I think it was only about $12.99 or $13. Boom! G Axis. Do you know anything about G-Axis? No. Okay, G-Axis was originally created for the Generation 2 Transformers comic in the mid-90s, and he didn't have a toy. And that, it's cool because finally we've got a G-Axis toy that's in the proper colours, he looks perfect, and yeah, he's awesome. And I'll, I'll bash this open and play with him later. Very cool, look at the, look at the packaging on that. It's great. I don't know, I'll find a place. I'll find a place. Yeah, amazing. Wanted this for ages and I just didn't want to pay like a load for it. And, and that, but now we get to the big boys. Coronation Starscream. Awesome. Now this was a freaking steal. I think originally this retailed at 70 to 80 quid, around that, 30 pounds. I was just like, oh yes. Let's get my Starscream on. Because I, I don't have a, a good Starscream at the moment, so perfect. And it means that I can like pair him with Galvatron and have him shoot, yeah, he, he can die in a pale of glory. Oh, I love it. That's going to be awesome. And finally, space the big space dinosaur. Come on. Why do we have a space <sighs> This is Sludge from the Dinobots in the original Studio Series 86 line. Yeah, from Transformers the movie. Very cool. I'm gonna bash this out. I'm really excited to get this because I've got the other two Dinobots and they are fantastic toys. I mean, just brilliant. They're, they're down here. Grimlock and the one that has an inappropriate name. He's now called Slug. That's not his real name. We call him proper name. So yes, I've got I'm not going to unbox it on the channel, I'm just going to crack them open when they get here, but I've got Skeletor and He-Man coming today so I can ride Battle Cat and have a fight with Skeletor. Oh, no. Yeah! Yeah! I'm getting my He-Man on! Okay, so should we crack open some comics? Yup! Yeah. Ooh, there's quite a lot of books in here. Oh, I know what this is already. I've just thought, oh, this is cool. These are amazing. We won't do any others for this video because the whole stack. Which one is this? Phew. 
Justice Society, issue two. issue two. These are the Alex Ross covers, basically, for a whole run of Alex Ross covers, which uh, are beauty. I'm, I'm trying to work out who that is, and I, I'm not sure, to be honest. Pretty good condition, quite happy with that. So it's an under Justice Society of America. Yeah. But who is it? I'm not sure. And it's, an, it's another uh, Alex Ross variant. Yeah. Absolutely wonderful artwork. Like, really, the, the man is fantastic. I mean, that isn't a secret. Everybody loves Alex Ross art. I mean, it's just beautiful. That's issue three. What have we got next? Boom! Oh, that is a toe cover. Oh, there's a nasty bit of colour rub up that spine. That's a shame. But issue four. Oh, that is really, really nice. Whoosh. Boom! Oh, the Sandman, look at that! Oh, wow! That's amazing. Oh, that might be my favourite so far. Oh! Yeah, but Alex Ross is an amazing artist. Don't give me that, well, you're being crazy about the, the silly comic books. It's brilliant art! Whoosh! Boom! Oh, another one. Oh, wow. I mean, I, I, I'm not surprised that there's another one, but another one that is amazing. That was my point, laughing at me. Rub down this up as well. I think it could actually just be the back. I'm not really sure, but yeah, look at that as well. Oh, it's cool. It's so cool. <gasps> I'm such a nerd. Next. <laughs> Boom! Liberty Bell. Like, he's got such a, an amazing way of capturing like a really lifelike art. I mean, like, if you just glanced at that, you'd think it was a photo. Like, it's really beautiful. What do we got? Ooh. Oh, there she is. Power Girl. I love Miss Power Girl. She's, she's one of my favourites. And the final book. Bag is ripped. Did that just happen? Oh no, we didn't get it. That is a really dodgy looking bag. Awesome. Awesome cover. Really, really, really striking Superman there. Wonderful. With all of them in the background there. And just JSA. That is awesome. Uh, the book looks alright. The bag needs replacing as soon as humanly possible. Oh no, it looks, it looks quite ding down this end, which is a real shame. But hey, what can you do? I think, if memory serves me, I got all of these books for about £12, so I won. That is, for, for the whole run of uh, JSA, Alex Ross covers. Awesome. 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 Number awesome. One. Uh, yeah, except number one. Thanks for your help, Badger. 
Thanks for watching everyone. Please like and subscribe. Comment down below. Tell us what you thought of the uh, Transformers and the awesome Alex Ross covers for the bargain prices for fans. And uh, we'll catch you next time in the Spiral Dimension. Peace! From the Spiral Dimension.